Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meets, and in this Cinema 4D quick tip video, I just wanted to go over the viewport solo options, but more importantly, a uh, my shortcut setups for for solo modes. It's a great workflow tip. It definitely speeds things up. So let's just get into it. Okay, I've got a scene here. This is uh, the scene that I created actually for the thumbnail of this video. The scene itself isn't too important. But just to go over what's in it, I've got a, um, a null here with my floor, an octane sky, an octane camera, and I've also got an objects null, which is each of my objects. This is solo off, solo on, and the hierarchy. So basically I just recreated these icons in Cinema 4D. So that's my scene. So let's go over our solo options. If you look over here on the left, you can see these three icons here, and these are our viewport solo options. The gray solo, the gray solo button is solo off, which is what's currently on. We have this uh, orange one, which is solo on. And if we uh, hold down on this, we get another option, which is viewport solo hierarchy. And we also get this dynamic solo button. So let's just actually go through what each one of these is. So solo on is uh, kind of self-explanatory. If I actually select our solo on object, and then select solo on, it will solo just the object that we've selected. Now you'll see that there's nothing in our scene here. And that's because what we're actually soloing is the null that all of this stuff is inside of. So if I'm were to go back to off and then choose my actual sphere object and then solo that object, we'd just get that sphere. So the reason why when I select this null, um, press solo on, nothing is there is because it's just soloing that null, none of the children within it. Which brings me to the next option, which is um, viewport solo hierarchy. So let's go back to solo off. So all our objects are back. Select our solo on object and then choose viewport solo hierarchy. Now, when I do this, it not only solos the null here, but all the children within that null. If I go to solo off and then just choose, um, let's say the sphere and then solo hierarchy, not only will it choose the, the orange sphere that's in it, but anything that's underneath it. And in my case, I've got a mo text here. And the same is the case if I were to choose the outside line sweep I've got here and then solo hierarchy that it will choose the sweep and the circle and the path within it as well. So that's what the solo hierarchy does. And then uh, beyond that, we've also got this dynamic option here. So let's go back to solo off. And if I were to toggle on this dynamic option, you can see that it's there now, nothing's happened. And that's because it's just changed the way that the solo button works in general. So if I was to go to solo, uh, viewport solo single, so it's just solo on, and then choose the null, you can see that it dynamically switches between these objects uh, when this dynamic toggle is on. So let's try it with solo hierarchy. So if I choose the hierarchy object here, you can see that it's visible. If I go to solo on, it switches to that, solo off, it switches to that. So it's dynamic, it actually goes and grabs whatever object that you've got selected, it will it will solo hierarchy that out with this dynamic button turned on. Now you may or may not want that. Um, so you you know you've got this toggle here, so you can choose. I prefer to have this off because if I were to say let's go back to off. If I were to choose my solo one object and then viewport solo hierarchy. It solos this, but then say I want to select something else in my hierarchy, but still view this uh, object. I can switch to another object. I can even open it up, go grab something. I could grab this sweep and make some changes in here, but I can still be viewing this object. That might be desirable for a multitude of reasons. I tend not to have this uh, dynamic switch in toggle on, although it can be very, very useful in certain cases. So there's that. So now that that's explained, let's get back to what I normally have. Let's just get all of this off and turn the dynamic button off. Um, shortcuts. This for me is really, really helpful because 
you don't want to be going over here and pressing these buttons all the time. It's, you know, it's not the, the biggest waste of time in the world to go over to the left and click on one of these buttons, but why bother when you could have something much more quicker and something much more intuitive? So I've actually got my stuff set up already. Um, so if I select this, I can just press my um, shortcut on and off, nice and quick. I can, you know, select something in the scene and just grab that and solo it out. Uh, this is especially useful if you've got a heavy scene with tons and tons of objects and you kind of just want to declutter your view to work with a particular object. So how you do that is go up to Windows, Customization, Customize Commands, and then in here, uh, the, the name of the filter, you'd say Solo, and as you can see, we've got all the Viewport Solo options here. I actually use Viewport Solo Hierarchy and Solo Off. And as you can see, the, in the shortcut column here, I've already made shortcuts for these, but these don't actually have any shortcuts, at least not in R21. So if you select one of these, you'll see that it doesn't have a shortcut. Um, in my case, you'll see down here it says Alt-Q, and in the shortcut column here it says Alt-Q as well. So mine have already got shortcuts. Yours will be empty, but you can assign a shortcut to this. So to make sure that the shortcut you want to use is actually empty and not being used by something else, you can actually use the shortcut filter. So if you go up here and say, uh, I don't know, Alt-E, it will show you anything that's actually using that. In this case, Easy is using Alt E already. I actually chose Alt Q and Alt W because Alt Q is something that I actually used to use in 3ds Max when I was working a full-time job using that program, and it's kind of a hangover from that. Unfortunately, in Cinema 4D, um, you can't set viewport solo hierarchy on a toggle. So what I'd really like is I press Alt Q to viewport solo hierarchy and then if I pressed alt Q again it would turn it off but that doesn't seem to be an option so I've gone with alt Q uh, for viewport solo hierarchy so if you want to do that you just select this go down to the shortcut and type alt Q in there well actually press alt Q and then just click the assign button and you'll see it up here and it will be assigned then and I did the same thing for viewport solo off I just made it alt W because it's right next to the Q and it wasn't assigned to anything else. So now Alt-Q and Alt-W are my shortcut buttons for Solo. So I can just easily switch between those when I'm trying to work on something. Anyway guys, so that's uh, Viewport Solo options and uh, setting up the shortcut. Hope you found it helpful. See you in the next one. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. And make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.